If you were switching to Android from another smartphone platform and asked for recommendations on what phone to get, odds are pretty good that the HTC One and Google Nexus 5 would rank pretty high on that list. But these two high-end devices are popular for very different reasons, and they deliver very different user experiences. So let's check both of those devices out and see if we can get to the bottom of which one is right for you. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is Nexus 5 versus HTC One. The HTC One is one of our favorite Android devices of all time, and a big part of that is thanks to its excellent fit and finish. The One's zero-gap construction is aluminum and polycarbonate, and it's replete with all the hallmarks of premium 2013 design. Chamfered edges, two-tone coloring, and precision machined holes for the twin front-firing speakers. It's this build quality that's led some to call the One the gateway drug for iPhone users. Give or take a few minor details, it really does equal or surpass the feel in hand of an Apple product. The polar opposite of that would be something that felt ridiculously cheap and chintzy. And thankfully, the Nexus 5 is neither. But it's plain to see that price, and possibly a desire to de-emphasize hardware in favor of software, played a role in the Nexus 5's design. Hardcore or not, plastic is still plastic, and it still doesn't feel as good in the hand as the HTC One's aluminum. The Nexus 5 is only 13 grams less massive than the One, but it feels much less substantial as a result of that material choice. On the plus side, though, the soft touch coating on the back makes the Nexus 5 a grippier device, and it'll probably hold up to drops and scuffs better than the soft metal of the One. It also won't get as hot in the hand when it's working hard. Comparing the footprints, you can see that these devices are fairly equal in size on their face, but because LG didn't have to accommodate the big boom sound speakers, it was able to squeeze in a larger display. But though it's bigger, it's not better. Colors aren't as saturated on the Nexus. Blacks aren't as dark, and whites are unnaturally warm. To our eye, the better quality on the One's display more than makes up for the slight size sacrifice. Under the ribcage, each of these phones has a healthy ticker backed up by two gigs of RAM, but the brand new Nexus 5 edges out the older competition with a Snapdragon 800 instead of a 600. That means there's more processing power under the Nexus 5's hood and better graphics capabilities as well, in addition to the Qi wireless charging ability and support for more LTE bands. So all this means the Nexus 5 demolishes the HTC One in day-to-day -day usage, right? Well, if you've been watching Pocket Now videos for a while, you know the answer is no. We don't worship specs. We value performance. And in that respect, each of these phones is crazy fast and ridiculously smooth. You'll notice that we've been swapping back and forth between the Google Play Edition HTC One and the stock edition running HTC Sense. And truly, it doesn't matter which one you're running. Performance on the One is a dream. The LG phone, of course, has a newer Android version. And being a Nexus device, it'll probably always be ahead of the One. But with HTC promising to update its phones to KitKat within weeks, One owners won't have long to wait for improvements like the streamlined Google Now integration, built-in yellow pages, UI enhancements, and so on. The only question is whether you prefer an excellent third-party Android skin, HTC Sense, or an excellent stock Android experience. You'll want to check out our full review of the One, and stay tuned for our forthcoming full review of the Nexus 5 for more on that. But for now, just know that either way you go, the software is so good that it probably isn't going to be a pain point for you. The camera is another story. Just like we dealt with in our Nexus 5 versus Moto X comparison, we've got two very inconsistent cameras here. Both feature optical image stabilization, but the 8 megapixel shooter on the Nexus 5 is considerably higher in resolution than the One's 4 megapixel sensor. On the flip side, the One features many more options in its viewfinder software for honing and perfecting your shots, or just making them more fun. And those shots are, again, inconsistent. The One tends to swing wildly between over- and underexposed output, depending on where it's focused. The Nexus 5 is a little less finicky in this department. But w once you do find a nice groove with the One, it can produce some pretty nice shots that sport more color on average than the Nexus 5's. 
The HTC phone also has a much wider field of view, which we like because it lets us get further from our subjects. And HTC's Ultra Pixel technology may have a gimmicky name, but it does do a much better job in low light than the Nexus 5's camera, which more than once couldn't bring in enough light even to focus properly. Even the front-facing contest favors the one. While the Nexus 5 only has space for one person's sad and lonely selfie, the One's wide-angle front-facing camera has enough space to include a friend. About the only thing we like better about the Nexus 5's output is its video quality, which is pretty gorgeous, no matter how you slice it. The HTC One has been the reigning champion of voice quality since it debuted. And though the company was forced to change some of its microphone technology mid-cycle, we still think the One delivers great voice quality. But according to callers, the Nexus 5 does too. And we agree. On the earpiece, anyway. But then there's the speaker performance. Folks, with a name like HTC Boom Sound, you know it's gonna be intense, and it is. The One's speakers are positioned more logically, and they're much more dynamic than the Nexus 5's single speaker. We'll have more on the Nexus 5, including thoughts on battery life, more camera testing, and more detailed rundowns of the goodies found in Android 4.4 in our full review landing soon. Follow us on social media and subscribe here on YouTube so you don't miss it. The Nexus 5 has taken a bit of a beating in the last few categories, so now it's time to remember what we're talking about here. This is a phone with a 1080p screen, a Snapdragon 800 processor, an optically stabilized camera, and a virtual guarantee from Google that it'll always have the latest and greatest in Android, well, for at least the next two years. And it's $349 in the US. That's not just value, that's crazy value. The HTC One might outperform the Nexus 5 in some areas, and it might feel like a jewel in the hand, but you're gonna pay a premium for the privilege of carrying it. Off contract, anyway. Still, if you've got the money to burn, or you're willing to strap yourself into a carrier contract, and you're more concerned with the smartphone's holistic experience rather than having the absolute latest and greatest, we think the HTC One is the better rounded of these two phones. If the kind of things that peel your banana instead are high-end specs and lightning-fast updates, save some money and snap up the Nexus 5. Just be prepared to accept the compromise that comes along with it. Haven't had enough Nexus 5? We talked a lot about the Nexus 5 on this week's Pocket Now Weekly podcast with special guest Brad Molin from Engadget Mobile. Head on over, download that, it's up. And that is also where we announce the winner of our Nexus 5 giveaway. Don't worry, we'll be running another giveaway at some point in the near future. But thanks to all who participated. And be sure and stay tuned for our full Nexus 5 review coming soon and a bunch of other comparisons on this phone and others. Thanks for watching this video, though. Toss us a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you have some feedback. Most importantly, though, thank you for watching, as always. We'll see you next time.